now coming to uh, like we'll just deep dive into MBD. So till now I was just explaining about uh, the applications, the users and stuff. So now coming to the actual MBD. So here, uh, these are the common common components that are required to model any MBD model, okay? So they require force elements, a reference frame, which is also a coordinate system, the hard points, markers to define the location and orientation of an entity, and the bodies, the either a rigid body or a flexible body, and then the constraints, which are nothing but joints and the motions. So all these components are the building blocks in constructing an MBD, uh, MBD model. Now let's talk about what is a multiple dynamics system. Okay. So now we'll be we are in a position to answer this question. So a collection of all the entities, which, which, are, which I mentioned in the previous slide, that is the bodies, constraints, markers, points, etc., are connected to each other by either joints or constraints and have relative motion between them. All these can be called multiple dynamic system. So all these can be modeled in your software and you can run the simulation and analyze the results. Okay. So here uh, is an animation of multiple dynamic system. So wherein I'm considering a flexible beam. So this blue part, what you can see here is a flexible beam. So this flexible beam is connected to this uh, sliding mass here, which is sandwiched between these two gray blocks using this prismatic joint. So prismatic joint is uh, this uh, sliding or translation joint. Okay. So the other end of this flexible beam is connected to this particular link through a revolute joint. Okay. So you can see how this uh, simulation works. So you'll have a reciprocating motion here, which is converted into a rotary motion. So something similar to your, uh, uh, you know, the piston moving inside a cylinder, right? The piston has a reciprocating motion, which is converted into the rotary motion here. Okay. So this is one of the simple simulations and uh, uh, based on after uh, building this model and uh, simulating it, you can get the results like uh, the forces acting on this particular joint or the velocity with which it is traveling. All these outputs can be requested in the software. Now uh, let's go to this, uh, uh, you know, this slide wherein I'll be explaining about the equations that govern the MBD simulation. So I, I, when usually in my classes, I just don't like explaining the software part of it or just those details because I like to go from the scratch, like what is the theory behind it? So if you want to concentrate on what the theory is behind it, then it's about the Newton's second law of motion. Okay. So the dynamic behavior of any more, uh, any multiple dynamic system is described using equations of motion. And the key formula for it is based on the Newton's second law of motion and the equations for the general motion of a single body coupled with the constraint equations, they get written out in the solver. Okay. Which is motion solve. That's a solver. So what you'll be working on in as in the graphical user interface is motion view, uh, which is the pre-processing software and the solver here will be motion solve. So when you, uh, create a constraint and a joint or, or a motion, whatever uh, you create on the graphical user interface, it will be written out in terms of equations in the solver. And those uh, equations, they get solved every time you run the uh, simulation. So the key thing, what I wanted to say here is everything is dependent on the Newton's second law of motion. So now uh, I'll be quickly explaining the different types of simulations that are available in MBD. Um, so they are the kinematic simulation, dynamic simulation, static simulation, quasi-static simulation, linear simulation, or a complex simulation. A complex simulation is basically a combination of two or more simulation types. So I'll be talking about each of these simulations in detail. Uh, 